I'm HM3 Strong. I'm a Fleet Marine Force Corpsman, currently stationed at Aviation Survival Training Command. And today I'm going to go over splinting procedures. Usually in your first aid kits, you don't have any hard objects. So if you're out in the wilderness or any, any environment, try to find two hard, long objects. Today we'll be using two pieces of wood. If we have a fractured upper arm, Try not to move your arm around too much. The bone inside that's broken can actually d cause more damage when you move it around, which is the reason why we're splinting it. Try to put one hard object on the inside and one on the outside of the arm to keep it from bending. Try to make your material not too thin to cut into the skin, but thin enough to uh, wrap around. When we're wrapping the bandages, make sure that we're not putting it over the joint of the arm. And then before and after, make sure we're always checking the pulse to make sure that we have adequate blood flow still going through the arm. And if not, you can go ahead and press on the nail bed. It'll turn white and make sure that it comes back pink and you know that you got good blood flow.